Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Hair Healer Podcast. It is currently Monday, May 25th, when you guys are listening to this, but I'm recording it the day before, Sunday, May 24th, which is also my birthday, my 32nd birthday, but it's okay. We can also celebrate the 25th all week long if you'd like. In fact, I actually miss it in the salon. I'm sure no one else does, but it did become kind of a joke because I would write it like leading up like a week on the book a week before Colleen's birthday on our salon calendar on our salon calendar I used to walk in and Anthony Capriotti would say happy birthday every single day up from May 1st to the 24th it was hilarious but if you know some Gemini sons in your life they probably love to celebrate their birthday most of them unless they have like a Scorpio moon or something but nevertheless um I was reflecting a lot of the last you know 10 years ago which was the last birthday I got to celebrate with my father when he was alive and he was dying and um of cancer and it was like a lot of last my niece was born at the end of April and then um and we knew he was dying he had died in July then afterwards my birthday it was just like a lot of last and it was really really hard I remember and I was also in like the middle of the grips like well into my heroin addiction at that time and I even have a picture I'll probably share it tomorrow but like I was sick and you could see and just like so sad yet so numb to everything that was going on but we had like this family dinner my brother was in from LA it was like we all got to be together 10 years ago so that's really this is the last time I had a family birthday with like my siblings and both my parents 10 years ago so um, I know he'd be very proud of me and I know he's, you know, half the reason why I got this, you know, how I got out and how I got to where I am today and reflect like, you know, you can get out of anything. I was in such a dark person, such a dark soul, such a dark place at that time. And to see a decade later turning 32, how far I've come, that is... That's, you know, I don't know. I just want to share that story of hope because I was reflecting. I woke up happy. I got to just like wake up and be and enjoy life and just, you know, there was a bird in my bird feeder. I just got this bird, this bird feeder because I want to wake up to like seeing birds and a bird was finally there. But something my dad said before he died and there's something with someone you just like who really made an impact in your life, a parent and they are telling you something when they're dying, you're gonna fucking listen and it's gonna stick with you. And he was like, Colleen, life's gonna go on. Like, no matter what, he was like, life's gonna go on when I die, life's gonna go on when you die. Like, life will go on, you have to promise me, you have to keep living it and enjoy it and live every moment to the best. And I really took that to heart. I mean, I got clean a few years later, I did at that point, but it's always stuck with me and it's now been part of my path of just like, look, life is what it is and I'm going to, you know, I'm just gonna make it what it is. But I want to jump and talk about this episode. I'm super excited again. Thank you for everyone who's been like reaching out, the overwhelming support, listening, sending emails. Like I'm really, really grateful for everyone, for everyone who has believed in my passion and just helped me grow it to where it is today. And I'm excited for the future. So I have Leslie over in LA and Ravens Hearth. Um, that is like her brand, her company, everything she does. I hope I said that right. I have problems saying some words, that's one of them. And she has a fascinating story. And again, she is open with just like her traumas and her life and her life path and all the different ways she took and all of the different rock bottoms that she's had and that she's made it out of. She's a really, really beautiful soul. She's a tarot reader. She is a classical music singer. She's super, super gifted. And she just has so much wisdom to bring to the world. So I'm really happy. Again, I'm so grateful for her raw and unfiltered truth of her life. And um, this episode is going to be awesome. So I hope everyone has a beautiful Monday. I hope everyone enjoys the week. You know, it's getting warmer. And at least if you need to get out and you're in a state or somewhere that restricts that, like try to get into the woods or just go find some peace in there. I promise you, even if you're not used to it, go find your calm there. All right. So let me stop talking again. Thank you guys, everyone for the birthday wishes I've already had. I'm just waking up and just thank you. I love everyone. If you have a message, if you have a truth you want to bring onto the Hair Healer Podcast, please feel free to email me, thehairhealerpodcast at yahoo.com or find me on Instagram at thehairhealer1111. Um, or if you have a comment, a question, anything, something you want, anything, just feel free to reach out. All right. Love you guys. Have an awesome day. Thank you and goodbye. There we go, it's done. Sometimes I don't always know how to like, and that I just like, cause what happens is I start talking and then I'm like, okay, I have to hyper-focus on the end. And then I'm like, da 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 bye, bye, peace. <laughs> so that's it, happy Monday, bye.